Another idea that's uh, in the news this week is from the Illinois controller, Leslie Munger, and she is uh, suggesting or implementing uh, the idea that legislators should have to wait in line with everybody else for their paychecks because vendors are owed millions of dollars here in Illinois. Uh, is this a time, is this a, an idea whose time has come? Yes. Um, <laughs> everybody should get in line. You know, um, I work in philanthropy and get the opportunity and the privilege to work with a lot of nonprofits that are still waiting for their payments. You know, and everyone had a six month reserve because the state before this budget impasse, you know, was not paying the, the invoices for six months. So everyone had that, but they've run out of money. And now you hear about Catholic charities and universities, uh, you know, closing, laying off people, not being able to deliver the services. Do I think it will have an impact? Will it, you know, break the logger jam? No, I don't think it will. But I do think it's an idea whose time has come. How, how long will it have to stay in line? Because this, <laughs> the state owes $8 billion that it hasn't paid to these various vendors. I mean, she says it will just delay paychecks by about two months because a lot of that delay are with Medicaid providers mm -hmm. and big hospital systems that can kind of wait longer than, than some of the nonprofits. And I, I think lawmakers in that time period will have to struggle a little mm -hmm. bit, but then they'll get used to their payments being delayed just like <laughs> everyone else. I, and, you I know. just wish she would have done this seven months ago. You know, and I think so every, your question is what took so long? Well, I, I think everyone on this panel and all of your viewers agree that this is a good move. And head lice, traffic jams, and root canals are more popular than lawmakers in Springfield these days. So they should wait just like everybody else. So by having them wait, what do you think it might accomplish, Lisa? Oh, gosh. You know, I, I don't know if it will accomplish anything other than some frustration. You know, we don't have a full-time legislature. Um, um, I come from a state that does, so most of the legislators I know have a side job, so I think they'll feel a little bit of a pinch in their pocketbook. But as Kristen said, it'll, it'll come out in the wash in two months, and, you know, everything will start flowing again for them. I don't think it'll accomplish much. I think it's a little too late. The idea, I assume, is to put pressure on these legislators to come forward with some some kind of an agreement. Right. I think it's part of a public narrative that we're doing all that we can to break the log jam that exists in Springfield and in July of 2013 Governor Pat Quinn did the same thing to try to mm -hmm. build momentum around pension reform. But the court ruled that that was well, illegal. And that was about pensions. This is about the budget. We have a budget crisis. I think this is perfectly appropriate to have lawmakers wait in line like everybody else. And of course, this being Chicago, immediately some people are saying that this is all about uh, politics. <laughs> Munger is in a race for re-election against the city clerk, Susanna Mendoza. Kristen, is this uh, just a political move, do you think? I mean, I think it's both. We, we can't be ignorant to the fact that, yes, she faces a Democratic challenge in November, and she is a, a, an appointee of Governor Rauner. So she is going to get painted with all of the smear that she didn't cut checks to social service agencies, that kids with autism are suffering because her office is the one that sends out the checks. Mm -hmm. Is that a fair characterization? No. I mean, she's really just the accountant for the state. But is she insulating herself from some of that criticism? Yes. If this doesn't move the needle on getting a deal, what will? I don't think this will move the needle on, <laughs> on getting a, a deal done. I, you know, I, I think uh, we're all running out of patience. Um, you know, and, and I don't know what the out is, but I do think, you know, it's a sign that uh, we should be pressing for a resolution and not sitting on our hands. Lisa, what do you think it'll take? We have 10 seconds left. <laughs> Solve this for us. Very Solve it in 10 seconds. Very what I think it will take is a change in leadership. I think that the people who are leading, egos have gotten in the way, um, attitudes have gotten in the way, and it's going to take the voters saying to these folks, you didn't do the job and we need a new So we may have to wait for another set of elections is what you're saying. Yes. And thank you very much to our guests, Kristen McQuarrie, Rod Joy, and Lisa Dietland.